All right, guys. Well, I got a um, an LG DVD player here, and uh, the complaint was uh, it was making a loud uh, buzzing or humming noise. Uh, I can't really hear it right now, but if you listen closely. Well, can't really hear it now, but uh, I got it to do it before. So what we're going to do is uh, tear this apart, get the cover off of it. Um, there's two screws here in the back. I'm just going to eject the disc. I got the little screen here playing it. And uh, what we're going to do is um, take it apart. Clean it up real good. Uh, clean the laser. Clean the tracks. Relube the tracks, and then possibly relube the uh, motor, if uh, possible, if it uh, can come apart or not. So, I'll put you up here on this uh, tripod again. Like we got two screws. I got this little <laughs> jar here. So my bolts in, little screws, just got a text message, <laughs> so, okay, I just pull straight back, there, alrighty, now I always like to look at these uh, capacitors as well, and none of them look bulged or nothing, so I think we're good there. And actually the tracks and everything, well, they're not even lubed up or nothing. There's no oil on them or nothing. So, uh, there's, should be... Might be clipped in, but this piece should come up. No, maybe it won't. No, it's a, it's a made part of it. Well, well, there's the laser. That actually looks pretty nice and shiny. Not sure on how to get this DVD drive completely out. Oh, something just fell out of it. Maybe that was uh, making the buzzing noise there. I don't know. Maybe it just broke off. But uh, we're still going to service it, clean and relube these tracks here, relube the gear motor, and uh, that motor there is probably fine. It's uh, the DVD drive motor down in here is what I'm worried about. So I'll figure this out on how to get this uh, assembly out, and I'll get back to you. All right, well, actually, that was really simple to get off. It only took me like 30 seconds. But uh, you got some clips right here. I go on the outside, just get a screwdriver and prime up. And uh, one right there, and one right here on the side. So uh, just pry them off in there, and it just slides right back. And then you got three electrical connections there, there, and here. And then just lift up and pull that straight back. 
And then we got the whole DVD drive assembly out. And there's the motor here. Does not look like it's serviceable. No, does not. We could uh, drop some oil down in this very little bitty hole there. But, um,. Oh, it's like a little holder right here. Holds the ribbon cable assembly. It's kind of weird. But, alright, well, let's get to work. It's pretty much the first thing you want to do with DVD drives is uh, clean the laser. Pretty much standard with everything. That's what causes most of your read problems, anyway. And cause it to uh, freeze and skip and everything. Like I said, this one was already kind of clean, so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down. There we go, and that's finished. And I'm just going to clean the tracks a little bit here. I'm surprised that there's no lube anywhere on the, any of these gear assemblies or nothing. Usually there almost always is. And especially with Xbox 360s, the disc spins way faster. And uh, there could be a lot of dust and uh, stuff in here that can cause a lot of problems. So they did put grease in the tracks here for the... Uh, DVD tray, but they didn't put no loop anywhere on the uh, gear assemblies here. Hmm. I mean, you don't really have to have, you know, a whole bunch of lube, but uh, yeah, this is actually DVD drive is not really all that bad. Uh, this little hole here is for oil, I do believe. It's for the uh, little, uh, it's not a bearing, it's like a pretty much like a bushing. But what you can do is you can take some sewing machine oil, machine oil, singer, you know, it's pretty much whatever you got. Just stick it right on that hole there. If I can get it on there and squeeze just a little bit and wipe off the, all the excess, you can just pretty much relube the uh, motor shaft. Take a little bit of alcohol, cotton swab, and wipe off all the excess. And there you are. That's pretty much done now. But um, if you want to go the extra mile, white lithium grease would be ten times better uh, for this job. But it's all the way out in the garage. I don't feel like going and getting it. But um, this is a very tiny bit of the just some ball joint grease for a car or something will work just as good kinda stinks a little bit but uh... I mean all in all it's, it's alright and you don't wanna like hose the stuff with this Most of the big gears you don't need it, but I'm going to put it on the little gears here. And you know, on the tracks here. I 
just to make it write on the uh, thing a little easier, make it read a little better, so it doesn't have to. The laser doesn't have to come back and forth as often. It'll it'll be able to read it a little better, a little bit more accuracy. That's what uh, causes a lot of your vibration and stuff is the thing going back and forth, the laser assembly here. Just to try to go back and read over what it missed and stuff like that. Pretty much just like a hard drive. You know, when you have a failing hard drive that's trying to seek and uh, it misses what it's trying to go for and then it has to go back and backtrack and stuff like that. There we go, I mean, pretty much lubed up now. Now there's another motor here that uh, operates the laser assembly. Uh, don't really have to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Alrighty. Now I want to clean the laser off one more time because I think I hit it with my finger while I was flipping it over. Alrighty. Nice and shiny. Put her back in the case. like that. That goes into these two slots back there. Get your ribbon cable. Make sure you get this nice and even. When you push it down in there, or else you could damage it real easily. But for these other connectors, I mean, they're not very hard to screw up. It's just some real small ribbon cables. Alrighty there. Those ones are good. Now I gotta get our front assembly here on. Some sort of way. There we go. Make sure your buttons still work. Alrighty. I'm gonna put the case back on, call this thing done. Oh, come on now. I didn't want to make this into like a 20 minute video, but. I'll get back to you once I get this thing put on. All right, well, I got it finished here. Put the DVD in. There we go. Oh, right back where I left off, too. I didn't even unplugged it. Actually, already that sounds a lot quieter. I 
Um, but I'll let it run for, uh, I don't know, until this movie's done and see if it'll uh, do it again with a different DVD. But uh, I think we got her fixed. So, if you ever have problems with your uh, DVD drive making a lot of noise, well, go ahead and clean it and re-lube everything and you'll be good to go.